good morning and a happy Saturday to you and your family. Today as we continue our study on the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus gives us some very uh, just practical spiritual advice as it relates to the, the second commandment. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. We read from uh, Matthew 5 verses 33 to 37. Again, you have heard that it was said of the people long ago, do not break your oath, but keep the oaths you have made to the Lord. But I tell you, do not swear at all, either by heaven, for it is God's throne, or by the earth, for it is his footstool, or by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. And do not swear by your head, for you cannot make even one hair white or black. Simply let your yes be yes and your no, no. Anything beyond this comes from the evil one. Very straightforward uh, spiritual advice from Jesus here. Don't swear by anything. Don't uh, make an oath. Just simply say yes and no. Very simple, very straightforward advice for us to follow. You know, you think about uh, you know where that can creep into our lives, right? You know, the the phrase "I swear to God," you know, all too common, right? And you just take a step back and think about you know why why do we say that? You know, it doesn't. Like Jesus is saying here, don't do it, right? It doesn't make sense. I, mean, I, I swear to God that, you know, fill in the blank. Really, all we're trying to do is make ourselves sound more confident. And so we're flippantly using God's name for our benefit. Not good. Or to, to make an oath to God. You know, God, if I will do this, 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 and then what usually follows, if you do this for me, right? Um, you know, it's good to, good to pray to God, and we can come to him with our requests. But to make an oath, usually that, like I said, it, it comes from a, a selfish motive. That I promise God I will do this if you give me this in my life. And Jesus says, don't do it. Just simply say yes, simply say no. Use our mouths to, to come to him with prayer, to give him praise, to give him thanks, and anything other than that to avoid. You know, oaths. Making a promise to, to God. You know, you look at the, the Israelites and how you know, we look back and God gave them a covenant, right? The Mosaic covenant. The chance for them to, to follow God's commands. Um, to follow him, obey the, the laws that he set out, and as they did, he would bless them as a nation. And what do we see as we went through the whole Old Testament? Well, unfortunately, as a nation, they failed. They turned away from God, and they broke the covenant. But God has given us the, the Ten Commandments to, to follow, and, you know, unfortunately, we are the weaker partner, right? And all too often, we have failed in that covenant, failing to obey God above all else, failing to not misuse the name of the Lord, failing to honor, failing to murder, steal, you know, the list, adultery, the list goes on. But God made another oath. That was the oath that he gave to Adam and Eve. And God, when he makes an oath, that's good as, that's good as done. Saying that he would send a savior to come into the world, and he sealed that oath by his own blood. Jesus, the one speaking here, was the one that sealed the oath as he died on the cross, bled, shed his blood for us, sealing that forgiveness that would be ours, that is ours now, and securing our relationship with him now and forever. So brothers and sisters, I encourage us to, to watch our tongues, not swear by anything, simply let our yes be yes and our no be no, and recognize that we don't need to make any oaths to the Lord. Because what we have, the oath that he has made to us, is far greater than anything we could give to him. What a blessing that is. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for the promise that you give to us, that, that faithfulness that you show to us, and that you have sealed us and made us yours uh, for now and forever by, by your sacrifice, by the shedding of your blood on the cross. Lord, help us to be strengthened by you and, and the oath that you have given to us, your promises. And we ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Just a reminder, church tonight, 
uh, 5.30 at Grace in Crivets now, uh, as the weather has turned. Uh, also have on your radar, two weeks from today, the Living Nativity should be a lot of fun to, to share the story of Christ's birth and that good news message of, of Christmas and what that means for us. Uh, two weeks from now, it's a fun day. Have that on your radar and let us know if you'd like to, to help out. God's blessings on your day.